You ever wonder why certain guys can walk into a room and everyone looks at them, right? Or why certain guys have no problem talking to women even though they may come across as someone who doesn't have much game. They might, might not be that smart, maybe they don't dress that nice, or they don't put much effort into that. But there's an edge to them, there's something that's different. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to get high levels of testosterone as well as how to develop more mental fortitude so you can stop being a wimp. And this is gonna reflect in every domain of your life, especially with women. So let's get right into it. Men with high testosterone, first off, they're happier, they're more confident, they're admired by other people, and they're able to have more energy throughout the day by just doing things. You know, they, they feel capable of not needing that you know, little kick in the middle of the day of soda or taking a nap in the middle of the day because they're exhausted, right? Men with high testosterone do things that allow their testosterone to be high. And there's certain things I'm gonna share with you in this video that allow you to do this, but you need to understand why it's so important to have high testosterone. Men with high testosterone get more attention from women. They get more attention from everyone first off, right? The men want to be them and the woman wants to be with them. And yeah, you need to have social uh, you know, awareness, you need to be able to have conversation, you need to not come across as a creep, but it's important for you to realize that when you're with a woman and say you end up you know, going to sleep with her uh, and you're in that situation where you two are having sex and you're free to explore her body and tap into that primal state. Too many guys are afraid to do this and this is typically the guy that has low testosterone because the guy with high testosterone, he's not in his mind in that moment. He's just tapping into his primal energy and he's exploring her body, but he's doing it in an aggressive way. But he's doing it in a way that just is right, right? He's hitting it right. And that's what too many guys, first off, suck with because they have low testosterone. They're, you know, have so much estrogen in their body, so they're, you know, feeling so much and they're worried, oh my God, you know, is this too tight? Uh, are you liking this, right? Versus the guy that has high testosterone is not gonna be thinking those things, right? He's not trying to kill her, but he understands these things. And women uh, very much can kind of sense on a man, you know, his, his, how, how, what he would be like in bed, essentially, right? They can tell pretty quickly if they're like, do I want this guy to approach me and talk to me and possibly lead to getting in bed with him? Typically, women will say no in their mind, right? Even though they might not show it, but sometimes a guy can kind of, yeah, uh, say woo her or you know charm her but you want to be that guy that can just walk and then instantly a woman's like shit this guy I want to talk to him right you do that things are gonna change for you and you need to understand that there's a way that you can go about getting high testosterone right you, the, the timing is so important and you need to understand that with timing of your day meaning you're gonna have all the testosterone that you typically would uh, in the day in the beginning of it and then towards around like 1 p.m., that's when you start to lose that testosterone. That's when it starts to go down, but that's where you can then change it by working out. I'll work out around that time, you know, between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and you're gonna spike your testosterone, right? And then you start doing this every day, and you're gonna naturally program your body to no longer have that spike because it's gonna remember, shit, I need this energy at this time. So you'll, so you'll stop having that time of the day where you're just exhausted and you wanna take a nap. Right? Men with high testosterone don't need to do that. And one of the things you can do to start changing those energy levels is by getting more sunlight, right? Vitamin D. Vitamin D is the most important thing. What I'll do is every single day I lay in the sun for 10 minutes, arms up, get vitamin D all over my chest, my armpits. I roll up my shorts and I get vitamin D on my thighs and I turn around and lay on the back. It's almost like I'm you know, cooking myself, like you would a, you know, a steak on the oven or on the stovetop or fucking on the grill, my mind, right? It's been a long day, I just got done working out, you know? My testosterone, too much testosterone, I can't even talk right now. That's a good thing, okay? But rest and recover, that's so important. Um, being able to get protein in, right, after you work out is super important, but also just getting the right nutrients. And then getting sleep, something that you need to understand, this is what most people don't talk about. They just think, oh yeah, you know, you know, I need to get my protein and I need to do this, but what about recovery? What about being able to lock in, okay, this is when I'm gonna go to bed. This is when I'm gonna actually allow my body to recover. I'm gonna stop looking at my phone right before I go to bed. I'm gonna stop having my mind go in all of these different places. I'm gonna stop 
One, first off, looking at a screen right before bed, that's not good. That's gonna disrupt your sleep pattern. But you need to also design and like have the intention of, I need to allow myself to just have downtime. All right, too many guys don't do this. And that's super important. And I want you to start doing that. Uh, when it comes to working out, you gotta work out like an animal, right? You gotta really push yourself to the limit of, I'm gonna get these fucking gains no matter what, and I'm gonna work out like a psychopath. Typically, that's always me. When I go to a gym, if I go to like a Gold's gym, uh, and there's some really big dudes, I'll be like, shit, these guys are really putting in work. It inspires me to go, am I putting in that level? Right, I like being challenged. But typically, I'm always the one that is putting in the most energy into it. That doesn't mean that I'm always the biggest guy, but when I'm working out, you can tell just by looking around like who's really getting after it, and I want you to be that guy. You can even be the smallest guy in the gym putting in that energy, but that's the type of thing that's respected, and I know that's what's missing for so many men's lives. I mean, you can actually tap into that, and you're not always gonna have it every workout, right? I don't, sometimes I feel like shit, and I'm just like, fuck. This workout, I'm just getting it done. I'm just being disciplined. I'm not really tapping into much energy or primal, you know, uh, you know, headspace. But if you can actually just get those things done, eventually that will become who you are. And again, like that's what develops that kind of masculine man and develops that mental fortitude. Now let's get intentional with what we're putting into our body to fuel it. I eat grilled chicken every single day. I'll eat red meat pretty frequently, but I also have a lot of eggs. Eggs are great for testosterone. Uh, eggs are necessary for every man. You want to avoid soy. You want to avoid the plastic, uh, uh, you know, garbage foods, right? Um, if it's not coming from Earth, it's not actual food. So stop eating bullshit, okay? That's just fucking up your hormones, and then that is just causing you to feel like shit, first off, but also look like shit. If you're like, man, why don't I look good naked? Well, look at what you're putting in your body, okay? Uh, and this also includes your vape. If you still suck on an adult binky, time to throw that shit away. Mental fortitude comes by being around other people that are on that same path as you, of uh, becoming the best version of yourself, and constantly pushing yourself, right? Uh, you know, the state of your body is gonna influence your mind, so when you constantly put your body in a state where it's being forced to grow and adapt, your mind's gonna grow and adapt. And this is gonna be so important for the evolution of your journey, just who you are as a character, right, in the world. But it's gonna help you so much. And our, gen our generation is just so pussified. And it, it, it's, just, it's like, I, I look at certain people and go, what are you doing, like, for real? Do you not have people around you that set an example that could inspire you? I think most people do, right? You look at some people and you're just like, how do you not get it? And that's where I, I mean, I have a business where people come to me and they pay me money and I go share all this shit with them, right? I give them the details and you know, hold them accountable and guide them on that journey. But it's like some of those guys don't find a person to do that. I don't necessarily need to be the guy for everyone, there's so many dudes out there, right? Go on YouTube, go watch some people, join some programs, right? Get a workout plan or something, but start, you know? Start watching videos. You're already watching this video, so you're on the right journey, but you need to understand that suffering is the best thing that you can do. This is what has changed the game for me. Uh, it's led to me being happy because I now find pleasure post-suffering, right? From pain, I develop pleasure. But too many people look for pleasure, which leads to them finding only pain. Stop looking for happiness in the same place you find it. Some uh, Wes Watson says all the time. Jordan Gravel to Castle. You've watched this video, maybe you've watched a couple of my YouTube videos so far, and you're like, cool, this is good stuff. Well, first off, if you like it, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share what you know you want me to make a video on. Like, be specific, ask a question, get deep into a story that I can actually dive into, right? Um, but I want you to understand that. Being able to have people around you that kind of hold you up and that have the high level of testosterone, that go and do those epic things around the world, that have freedom, right? They've escaped that prison, whether it's mentally, physically, or financially, and then now they're surrounded by people that live by that same belief system and live at that same level. That's something that every man needs. Not everyone, every man will get it or find it, but the ones that do, hell yeah. And the ones that are looking for it, hey, first off, welcome to the family if you're watching this video, but 
check out Gravel the Castle. There's a link in the description. Check out what I do with guys that allow us to thrive and evolve in all capacities of our lives. If you found value from this video, again, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.